Mescal Movie Set. Mescal Movie Set has been active for about 70 years. Uh, filming was done way back into the 1950s. Uh, the very first movie uh, done here was Winchester 73 with Jimmy Stewart. It was followed by The Big Country with Gregory Peck and Cimarron with Glenn Ford. In the late 60s, um, they actually came in on the set and they started building the buildings. The very first movie was Monty Walsh. It moved to Dirty Dingus McGee with Frank Sinatra. Uh, we had Paul Newman out for The Life and Times of Roger, Judge Roy Bean and Clint Eastwood with, with Outlaw Josie Wales. But most people remember it as the set for both Tombstone and The Quick and the Dead. And Tombstone had to set for 12 hours a day and they actually did filming. And when the 12 hours was up, they had to get the hell off a lot. And then the Quick and the Dead came in. They weren't filming yet, but they were redoing the town the way they wanted it. So like the hotel was a nice blue color uh, in Tombstone. And then it became the pigeon's nest and was kind of brown and run down in the Quick and the Dead. So when they were done with that part of the set, and it was no longer going to be on film in Tombstone, then the Quick and the Dead would come in, and then they would reset it up. Here's this army. Throw up your hands. Not what I want. Cut. Oh, my God. focused on all the actors' faces and showed the tension right in their faces. And so they had all the scene laid out here and everything, and then they were stuck. It's like, what's going to initiate the first shot? Yeah. And it wasn't in the script. You know, and it was Val Kilmer's idea, I'll wink at him. Yeah. And so, brilliant, you know, brilliant, brilliant idea. So he winks, and that started it all off here. And you know, I've seen that, I'm not kidding you, at least a hundred times. Yeah. And I thought about it. And I, I, I can look at each one of them's face right now, but it looked like Morgan was was scared. Yeah. Morgan was scared. Wyatt, of course, was not. And I would say that that uh, Virgil was determined. Yeah. Is that a good description? That's a great analogy. And then, of course, you got to be a uh, damn film critic. <laughs> of course, uh, Ike was a coward. Yeah. He talked bad, yeah. ran fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was a coward. And of course, so was uh, so was uh, the other guy that busted through the back door yep. and run off, and then it was another one. But uh, but uh, Tom and Tom and Frank McLowry, they were both uh, rugged uh, he men cowboys, and they was ready to face up. And yep. Billy was you know, let's just say Billy was young and full of piss and vinegar, yeah. and he uh, he had more guts than he had sense. Yeah. Is that a good way to describe That's it? That's perfect way to describe it. <laughs> but you remember what I ran? Then he grabbed Sheriff uh, Bean's gun. Right. He came up to those three windows. Right there. And then that's where Doc Holliday came up with his hat down and came yeah. up there and they were shooting at each other. Yeah. Doc behind us! And that was all shooting. Doc behind us! And the uh, producer said they spent $100,000 on sugar glass for that movie. How many times did they have to I read that go somewhere. in and fix it back up to shoot? Well, a lot of times because it was the summertime, it was hot, and any loud noise would just happen. Jesus. And you know what's amazing is how many bullets and six shooters hold. <laughs> I think you've been cheating. I thought he was friends. You are friends, and friends don't cheat friends. But they had a nice oval shaped bar here. And when they filmed in here, they would, the bar was on casters, they would slide it over and make the pool hole look bigger. Mm -hmm. And when they filmed in the Oriental, they moved that bar over to make the Oriental look bigger. So when Outlaw Josie Wales, he comes into town, he's got the Indian chief with him and the young gal, and he needed supplies, so they stopped in a Texas town to pick up their supplies, and they stopped in that mercantile store across the street. And after he had his supplies, he walks across the street, and he runs into the salesman that recognized him. And how about you, sir? Just a few bottles left. You won't regret it. Oh, my God.
God. It's Josie Wales. Poor Yankees. Stop. And they have stare down. And he says, you're going to pull those pistols or whistle Dixie? And then he shot three of them. And the Indian chief shot the other fourth guy. That happened right here on the porch. Why, well, you're going to pull those pistols or whistle Dixie? Tucson Studios. And uh, when COVID hit, unfortunately, old Tucson uh, Studios did close down, uh, and the set here uh, was uh, scheduled to be demolished. A uh, local, uh, local ranching family, fifth generation ranchers, didn't want this set to uh, pass by the wayside. And so they came in and uh, bought the set and uh, with plans to uh, renovate it. And we're going to uh, completely refurbish the set. The set will be open for community events, uh, for reunions, for weddings, and uh, uh, really for the first time ever, it is going to be open to the public. But first and foremost, it will be a movie set. And all the renovation will be done um, in accordance so that uh, a movie uh, company, production companies, can come in here and use the set for feature films, uh, for music videos, commercials, and, and, and whatnot. They came out and walked down this street. They had a facade of that burning building. Right. At the end of the street. Yeah. Now that was the director's idea. And the producer thought that was a great idea, so they built the facade up, and they put it on fire, and they filmed walking down here. And when the Hollywood bean counters saw it, they went through the roof because they were a month behind schedule, they are over budget, and what in the hell you hadn't seen to the movie for? You know, and they almost fired the producer. And then he said, then the sons of bitches, what do they use on the movie poster? My burning building in the back of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they came around the corner here, and that's where that little boy came up and went bang, bang, bang. Right. And that, that happened home. right here. Get home. Yeah. Get home. Get home. Come on, get home. Damn kid. The renovation of the set is really a community barn raising event. We have a lot of local volunteers, uh, most of which that have construction backgrounds coming in, helping us rebuild the buildings. Uh, we've got marketing sponsorships available for uh, local businesses to come in. They can sponsor a building or make a donation to be a sponsor, and they can actually attach their name to the set. If you'd like to participate, you can go to our website, viscalmovieset.com or you can go to our Facebook page by typing in Mescal Movie Set and you can get all the updates and all the information, uh, keep in check with our progress as things go on. And if you'd like to get involved, please feel free to reach out and contact us.